Hi there and welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers, to the Empire of Portugal. We have a new king, Emperor Sancho III, the kind of Portugal. The kind. The kind, and this is <laughs> the number of people the kind has killed or alternatively murdered. Yes, that was that a little bit. Let's learn a little bit about good Emperor Sancho. He's, well, he's apparently kind, but he's not really kind. He's generous, though, and improvident, so he likes to spend money, which leads to us bleeding money, 25% less income. Great stuff. So where does that income come from? From the domain, from church holdings mostly. Interestingly, from church holdings is the most. And from vassal taxes. There's some from vassal taxes, but it really, it's really minor. Church holdings are the thing. Okay, so um, what else? He's an absolute superpower in, in martial combat. Prowess 66. He's a strategist, he's a gallant, he's a ford or a cautious leader, he's consecrated blood, he's a drunkard though, gives him a tiny health penalty. He's a pilgrim, he's a murderer, improvident, as we've already said, a crusader, renowned crusader, he's Herculean, a genius, beautiful and also fecund with five more li years life expectancy. He's got lover's pox a venereal disease and he's a famous champion a paragon of the Astolonese warrior practices he has a whopping 37 marshal which is just insane he's a true warrior and also a good diplomat and this is his wife Empress Fronilde and she's also a murderer <laughs> a genius and beautiful and she's not at all fecund. Um, so... We can, we can uh, readily see which kids were from, from daddy and which not, right? So... It's all mostly, it's all mostly good. So we've already distributed some lands to our kids because our father died recently and now our grandfather. Grandfather was the emperor, father was just, just a king. And he inherited us a lot of lands. And now we have even more lots of lands. And we need to find out where they are to distribute them to our kids. So um, good luck with that, right? Let's see where they are. So we need to find the Portugal spots. There is a part of Portugal. That's Egypt, part of Egypt. That's ours. Then there's Cyprus, where we originally come from. We were the king of Cyprus. And um, there's a little bit more here and there. But these are the main things we need to uh, distribute. So our player heir in front of Sancho Fronildes, how much can he take? He can take quite a lot, so he'll get quite a lot. It's the way. You get that. One, two, three. And these are extremely powerful ones. Also the Duchy of Alexandria and probably the Kingdom of Egypt, right? Why not the Kingdom of Egypt for him? And then he'll get this stuff, five, and the rest, where is the rest? Yeah, these realms we want to keep, this not sure so much, this maybe we'll give away, this is absolutely useless to us. So. We'll definitely give these lands away too. Because that's just odd. It's just a little bit odd. Maybe maybe that should be the first one to give away, right? Because otherwise 
I'm not really sure. In the other hand, we have 24 realms to give away. Yeah, we'll give these to our other kids. He will get these lands and uh, the Kingdom of Egypt and maybe something of Cyprus, the Duchy of Cyprus at least. Or even the Kingdom of Cyprus. So, heir, that's you now. A made man. Super powerful. Military strength is a little lacking yet. But that will change. You'll have good income. We'll give you a great start. A gift and wow, you only got the armor. Give you something else too. Nah, we want to give him a good dagger. King Favilla's dagger. I don't know who King Favilla was, but he'll get his dagger. That's Astorius now? Okay, alright. Um, well, as I've said, we've got other lands. What's that? Chamba. That's ours? My goodness me. How about you? You got the Duchy of Afar of Ed of Danakil. Mm -hmm. You got Sila, Barbera, Tajura. Where should we give you something? Where is your realm? I, uh, anyways, it's here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Infante Azor. Mm, we might give that that thing here away. I'm not sure. Um, nine. How many is that? So we need to give away seven now. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven all seven could be here but we'd rather keep that so we'll give all of this oddness away seven hmm. Hmm. i think we'll give him that whole part here And then our last son here. I'll give him that one, which is absolutely super excellent. Pisidia. And this odd realm here, Jambala, which is absolutely useless, but <laughs> hey, he can convert it and uh, he'll get a little bit more power from it. Here we go. Be happy with that. You'll have good income too. We'll give you some money too. Yeah, we're generous. We lose stress from just giving away money. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that's the best thing ever. I wonder why, why we even went to become a drunkard, right? We could just give, a, give away money. How about you? Yeah, you also need some money. We'll give you money. Here you go, money for, for you. And losing stress for us. It's legendary, really. It's legendary. Well, that's really wonderful, of course. Now let's see what we can do. Um, oh, they all need some kind of weaponry, right? We want to give them some stuff. I want to give them an artifact or we want to we want to negotiate alliances first let's see Pinolu Hamamal good and can transfer 
this guy, uh, but you cannot, on the other hand. Then we need to give artifacts away to us all. What's his thing? Uh, he has nothing at all. Interesting. No. Nothing at all. Uh, I'll give you the Dagger of Valor. God is my strength. Sure. And Guyen has nothing. We'll give we'll give him also something. Another Livigildiana Warhammer. Nah, that's too that's too bad really. We will give him Toxara's flexible mail. Warhammer's low durability. No. Good stuff. Okay. Going to serve a lot of titles, but that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is, um, of course, we'll call, call for an exotic feast. We can also, again, develop the capital. Oh, that's going to be nice. Sure. We'll develop the capital. It's paying off. And we want a new lifestyle. Look at that. We're not finished with martial lifestyle yet. Could become pretty chivalric or authoritative or strategic. We was the, we, we still want to lead personally, so we'll go for chivalry. Why not? It's gonna be cool. Um, what else is it that we want to do? Ah, uh, yeah. We have, of course, our wife here, and she assists as well. Empress Fronilde. She's not the best wife, but she's surely very deceitful. Let's see about the chancellors. Mm -hmm. We need a good diplomat. Count Dankeren, he's very dank. King Favilla, wow, our vassal and knight. Yeah, 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 we'll take him. He's got to be great. Uh, we need a steward. King Nvanko, the bully of Yoruba land, is really, really good at stewardship. And very powerful. Okay, let's take him. We need a new marshal. King Raymond Berenguer, Raymond Berengues of Aquitaine. The freaking king of Aquitaine. Yeah, he's extremely good, of course. Um, but we also have Infante Velasco the Foolish. Isn't that our grand uncle or something? He's exceptional at Marshall. But he will also die soon. So I guess it's gonna be Raymond. He'll train commanders, yes, and we need a good spy master to protect us. King Guyen of Jerusalem. Successor to Pelayu. I think he's already gluttonous as well. He's also fecund though. Uh, he's poor in poor health already. Wow, what did he do? Uh, King Silo is feeling fine. He has scars over scars, though. You just Adeline, the Impaler. She's absolutely into us and uh, very intriguing. And she's feeling fine. She's an obese drunkard, though. How about Countess Anna? She's ailing already. Hmm. Okay, it's... It's gonna be... Gonna be him, right? Ah, uh, oh, he's a murderer already. He's paranoid, humble, and zealous. So he's not deceitful, at least that. Oh, Duchess Adelinde, on the other hand, is deceitful. And greedy. 
I think I want this man, King Silu. He shall defend ourselves. Can we convert somewhere? Maybe here in nowhere land, where we stand. Now, let's have a look at what we have in our inventory. Emperor Sancho's crown. Let's go and look at the rarity. Yeah, that's the best crown. King Sancho's dagger. A good one. Mm, I don't know. What are we into? Into the hammer of God? Yeah, the hammer of God is a beautiful thing. Even more as we are so strong. The Odudua regalia. Or Sancho the First's regalia. Hmm. 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 I think we'll go for the Sancho's regalia. The Jar of Frog Spawn. My goodness me. Um. We go for the Ancient Scarab Brooch. It'll help us a little bit with health. Then we've got the other trinket here. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's not good either. If Emperor Sancho's Brooch. Yeah. It's because it's so rare, we'll take it. We've got the Pressed Orchid here. Mm. A Thanasios Dichronicon. It's pretty good because of Vassal Opinion. I've got the Purple Girdle. Do we need the Purple Girdle? I don't think we need that, really. Um, I think we'll go back to Kifra's Saga. <laughs> Here we go. It will protect us. It's a good book. Wonderful. So I think we should be even stronger now. Yeah, 73 prowess. <laughs> oh, yeah, killing machine. Now let's look at the court. How do the artifacts look that we have? Hide of the fabled fox. Uh, we want the rarity. Mm, the hide of the man eating rabbit. Going to be displayed of Kerman Shah. Shusta's Tapestry and the Greek Tapestry that will all help us with uh, money, money, money. Caves apron, but we also need these things and this, the height of the Mighty Fox of Veg. Nice. Okay, we have this giant cabinet here. We have the little Rodrigo's chest. Uh, Ibeji. What's Ibeji? Small wooden sculpture depicting a deceased twin. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know. Should we go for the, the spare of the prophet? Not really. Um, we'll go for the Astolionese jewelry casket. Uh, there's this scale armor. But we have so many jewelry caskets. Livigildiana jewelry casket. St. Bridget's thumb. Are you mad? <laughs> also go for King Velasco's jewelry casket. So much jewelry. Now let's look at the books. We have King Sancho's About Warfare. And we have Magnificent About Warfare. So we're really into warfare right now. Well, that's fine. That's something we've written ourselves. It could be. It could really be. Nice stuff. So, um, well, that's all the grandeur. Let's, let's also see what we, do we have, what we have only decent fashion. What the heck? No, no, no. We'll, we'll spend like, like a madman because that's how we are. Grand lodgings, endless servants. Let's 
going to be spending left and right and center. There's 26 vassals above our vassal limit. Oh, that's a little unnerving. Uh, surely we can... Yeah, we can look at the at the jobs. Who is missing? Someone's missing. Someone critical. The master of the horse. Yeah, we were the former master of the horse. Mm, maybe our player heir can do that. We have a prisoner, Birdvar, the rapacious zealot. Um. He would go away for nothing, but we're too dready, dreadful to do that. Yeah, I don't want a former hybrid culture, thank you. We're going instead for... Oh, we can adopt a puppy. Yes, adopt a kennel pup. New companion. Uh, you shall serve me well, little one. We have a pet dog now or not? Yeah, here we go. Eerie to see our grandfather again. We'll host an exotic feast now. This is another great beginning. The new emperor with the passing of my grandfather, Empress Sancho, the responsibility. Yeah, he was also our friend, by the way. To lead the vast empire now falls upon my shoulders. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown, and run a hand through my hair. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. Long live the emperor! And how will our dog be called? I, I remember our grandfather and friend always called his dog amiable, and will do that as well. Welcome friends. The feast begins. We have a dog to show around. We have new allies. We have unfinished business. The work will continue, of course. And alliances are going on. Negotiate and another alliance. And there's collateral damage. It wasn't my favorite piece. Glory, alliances, marvelous news. We are the new dynasty head too, and we have a conversation partner. Uh, we could go for an interesting conversation, but why don't we talk more about you instead? We want to become friends with this man. We, we need some friends. We can transfer this guy. Wonderful. We have a few knights that will change soon, I guess. Look at this knight, Count Velasco of Godamas. He's as tough as we are. 75. What the heck? How did he even do that? Does he have great... Ah, oh, he has just a fine spare. He's got just a fine spare. This man is out of control. He's the legend of legends. He's the Highlander. <laughs> oh, God. Could that we have him? Could that we have him? Who's in the dangerous faction? Uh, the independence faction's dangerous. It has seven members. Who? Ho, ho, ho. Prince Pyrrhus, Prince Cresimir, ah. Wolf the Usurper, ah, he has a little princess. Can we arrange a marriage with someone? Our kids, our grandson. Yeah. Many grandsons. Our sons are married. Uh, that will lead to not much, unfortunately. Mm. Our kids are already married away. 
So that will not kind of bring it. How about you? We send you a gift. And this guy, can we send him a gift? And this guy, can we send him a gift? I hope that helps. I really hope that helps. And we're celebrating, of course. Here we go. Yeah, it's kind of getting better. As my guests depart, my wife Fronil to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last guests off. Until next time. An eager reveler. Aha, my vassal had an affair. God will judge these sinners, though. Ah, uh, the dangerous factions, really. Mm. Ashari populists as well. Um, we we could hold court. Hold court, quick. Hanging us, hounding us. What a peasant woman out. Uh, area plagued by unrest by my uncle Infante Rodrigo assures me that control can be restored without undue bloodshed. Um, mm -hmm. You're right. What we need is excessive? No. Um, yeah, do what you can with this. Vassal King Lopez stands before me, a concerned expression on, my f on his face. My lord, I come on behalf of my niece Leonor. She's been ignobly imprisoned by your kinsman, King Corus Vassal, for trivial and preposterous reasons. My heart bleeds for the miserable conditions which my poor niece must endure. Show her mercy and order her to be released. Um, um, I don't know. I will concede her a small mercy. No, let let her be free. Why not? Gain a favor hook on King Lope. Uh, what can we do with that hook? Modify the contract. Let's see. Mm, not much, apparently. <sighs> it's become increasingly clear that the butchers and the uh, Astrolinis are becoming more, perhaps even too similar. It's paramount that we show them that it's us Astrolinis. It's for the forefront of innovation. Hmm. We could host the festival, but that would displease the butcher vassals. I'm sorry, we cannot do that, man. My business here is done. My business here is done. And will you take um, something great from, from me? A fine statue, maybe? Like, will you take that? Because that would be really uh, good. Let's see. Mm. You could celebrate other cultures and celebrated cultures, defender advantage, uh, celebrating cultural diver diversity. That's going to be, like, great. Distribute the coins. Celebrate everyone. It's going to be good. We'll use the money. We'll spend it like a madman.
The Liberty Faction has disbanded. Oh, God, it's very good. Oh, no, we only have the Independence Faction to worry about. With seven unruly members. Oh. They have a lot of power, not gonna lie. Mm. Let's call for a hunt though. And then, no, let's go on a pilgrimage quickly. To Jerusalem. We need support from church. And we depart. It's time to depart. My kinswoman Christina has given birth to a son. What the heck? And he's a bastard. We don't care about him being a bastard or not. Uh, we will... I don't know. We will not educate him personally. Who's going to be... Yeah, our wife is going to be great at that. Interesting. Uh, we have this guy. Arias. Yeah, Arias is a good name. Who shall be the spouse? Child. Not dynasty. Pressed claims. Um, mm -hmm. Richesa. We'll try for her. May you grow strong and wise. Wonderful. Alchemist Yah brings a man before me, all smiles and prayers. This is good here, a respected scholar in my circles. The man bows and manages to look both pleased and bashful all at once. Please, no need for that. I am here to lend you my services, my lord, if it pleases you. Um, it does. Please assist Yah. The scheme at court. Stop it! Stop scheming around. Reflections. What am I doing this all for? I truly want to see is foreign lands. Uh, God would wish it for me. Yeah. I mean, God would wish to me, me to, of course. Yeah, let's do that. Let's be a little bit childish about this. Um, I, that's not a negative notion, by the way. Childish is often good. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent, repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. The worried looking townsfolk nervously whisper to each other, fearful of the doomsayer's words. De die autem illa et hora nemuscit. The Bible is clear, no man knows when the day shall be. And we're very perky now. Let's see. Serve the crown. More natural dread. Wonderful. Inspiration. Powerful wolves in the oasis. My lord, a message from your adventurer, Hanina. Servant says, handing me a scroll. My searchers led to me to the oasis of Fayum. They are notoriously wolf infested, but I have good reason to think that my goal is near. Expect my return soon. Signed, Hanina. The scroll reads, He surely is ambitious to choose such a risky part. Hmm. Hmm. By God, I hope she doesn't have to fight one. She slaughters a wolf. Ah, oh, someone is plotting again. And there's a betrothal. Can we go for more alliances? Not really at the moment. 
How the dangerous factions going? They're too weak now to send an ultimatum. Uh, the the Ashari populists. Basra, Kufa, yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting where we want to be, um, but it's still... It's still going forward in a interesting manner. Being dreadful has increased our abilities. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. No other city in the world has a history quite like Jerusalem. In addition to the many other holy sites there, the city contains the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Built over the combined places where Jesus was crucified, buried and resurrected, Standing outside of the Temple Mount with my hand on the western wall, I find myself reflecting on everything that happened on my journey to this city of legend. I have walked the holy path. Dedication to her faith? Yes. Um, that's good. There's another scheme. Okay, and we, we should really look into gaining more money somehow. Maybe we'll set him to... Um, extract more taxes because that's what we will need I think yeah we will do that we'll collect taxes because we're running out of money really uh, so that's at least something at least a little bit the return my journey has been a long one but I finally come home again while much remains the same, something has changed in how the priests and bishops treat me. I've undergone the journey of a holy man, and they insist it has changed something about me. Whether I can see it myself or not, it's good to be home. Hmm. Let's, let's call for a hunt, too. ta -ra! The Celebrator. My lord, my beneficiary, Yas smiles, gestures me over with ink-stained hands. My book, my masterpiece is finished. Behold, an extravagant tome that shows a modest understanding of stewardship as it touches upon subjects such as tax collection. The cover is wood that has been painted to display a repeating image of mythological beasts. Astolionese making gold. To my beloved Adelia. Oh, nice. Stewardship lifestyle experience. An illustrious book, a court artifact. I'm really impressed with that. You know, it's great. It's really good. Oh, we have a hunting dog. Yeah, Amiable. Suddenly, Amiable freezes and starts barking. And a couple of seconds later, something big can be heard moving through the undergrowth. His barks turn into growls just as a giant stag bursts into our path. I'll take it down. Man to stag. I'll take it down. Man to stag. Here we go. Let's go for the prowess option. Returning from the wild in spite of our difficulties along the way and went very well. Everybody's impressed. Let's see what else we can do. Betrothids can marry. Wonderful. Oh, my vassal has brought forward evidence that Marina was fathered by Duke Ptolemy. Who would have known? Who indeed would have known? Um... the dangerous factions I don't know there's two members but their discontent is going down <gasps> our personal champion is is going gun is, is done uh, we will we'll give you an artifact how about you'd get a, get an artifact will you enjoy that you'll get the ornamental coffer and you here Man of Mesopotamia. You get... Uh, 
I don't know. Ibeji. The Vuro Sword. And an Astolionese cabinet. And that reminds me of something too. Sultan Kumawariya's throne. Hmm. Yeah, that's better. It's the better throne. There's more things. How about the dangerous faction? Ah, they are not that dangerous anymore. My vassal Mayor Gomez has accused my brother Infantevella of having had an affair. Oh my god. Gods. Yeah, we, we shouldn't lead a war right now because that makes them only di more discontent. So. We'll just wait a little bit and see what happens. Look, our enemies are going away. Ah, all the people die, die, die. How is that going on? It started with my, with my gr father, then my grandfather, and now they'll all be dead, dead, dead. Erdogan Devar will be our personal champion. But not our bodyguard, mind you. Uh, why don't we have a court artificer? That could be in there. Uh, our friend will get the job. Estefania. She's unimportant. Oh, well. Um, again, a weak hook on her. And she can go. Uh, we have this land here, that's ours, right? Mürzschlag. Didn't we have... We have Freistadt and Amstetten. Yeah, we should reform these. There's a clear need for a big castle here. And here as well. Upgrade that. Farewell, Estefania. Uh, there's also something more, right? Uh, we should look into that. Um, uh, we had Amstetten, of course, here. And Freistadt, yeah. Everyone got some church buildings. Good, good, good. That was what we were looking for, apparently. And Mura is in good hands as well. Cool, cool, cool. Slowly getting better, but spending oh so much. Aha. Uh -huh. Time to right the wrong. Duke Gonaru. Corsica. From House Carling. Yeah, he, he should give us more money. And there's a child of my dynasty. Xusta Beatrices. She's wheezing. Oh no. Uh, she should train outside. And who shall educate her? Sancho. And who shall marry her one day? Matrilineally, that is. Arthur Velasquez. So. Uh, they can be the two wheezing ones. Nah, we want rather Gomez Pedres, Poitier Chalkis. Here you go, Xusta. May you grow strong and wise. What's that? Who wants an alliance? Uh, Count Dita? No. Are there more alliances to be had? Not really. Journey's underway, and I've joined a camel train. 
Traversing the width of the land, I send you a piece of jewelry one of my fellow travelers granted me, a most delicate necklace covered in ostrich shell beads. Suppose you haven't seen an ostrich. Uh, we'll give it to Empress Fronilde. Yeah, you now got the necklace of ostrich shell beads, and now we can see if she wears that thing or if she doesn't. Ostrich shell beads. Don't believe so. Feet and paw, it's become a habit to walk Amiable daily. And I'm not sure which of us enjoy the fresh air and sun the most. Amiable bounds ahead and looks back at me and barks as if to say catch up. And on we walk. Really getting there. It's good. It's really good. Huh. What could we do? Do we do we have to repay? No. Uh, apparently, the big spender that we are, we don't have um, any pro. What our cousin? Okay. We don't have any problems with money, or never had any problems with money. Interestingly, so. That's a pretty big, big thing to consider. And should we lead a war? At some point we will lead a war. Because we'll need some mon money maybe. Or we'll have... Ah, the old man's still alive. The old man's still alive. We would be in a great position to beat this. Where is their capital though? It's here. <laughs> it's on the other end. <laughs> okay, I think he was uh, pretty <laughs> thorough with uh, the planning now this time. He knows what we're going to go for. Probably have to go for this little one, but that's even that even that's three counties. So, um We'll definitely go for that. But in the next episode, thank you for watching and happy gaming. This is Emmanuel Kahn signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. We have a new young, uh, relatively young king and emperor. Maybe, maybe the last emperor of Portugal. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Emmanuel Kahn signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. May God protect you.